again, looking like you're going in the right direction because if Rook takes G2, and I do think that maybe this is what he really overlooked, that he thought that Black would just go pawn grabbing, but White can take on F7 uh, in this scenario. White can also push the C pawn. That's a dangerous pass pawn that Black now needs to deal with, with C7 and Knight B5, all sorts of ideas for White to even play for a win. But sometimes when you try to entertain winning chances or uh, you play a little bit uh, more on the edge, you pay the price. And the threat of Rook takes D4 just to go to live position, this is the big threat, everybody. Taking away the only white piece that can cover the E1 square if the white king were to yeah. take back. It's, it's very painful, especially because if Jordan had just used a general rule that we all have, that we're all taught, but we all forget, is just think about what your opponent wants to do. And when you kind of consider that, then Rook D2 is very obvious because all he wants to do is promote the E pawn. But instead, he was kind of confused by all the other particular variations of, you know, those forcing moves, Rook takes G2, Bishop takes G2, you know, all these kind of other lines, which were really inconsequential to Black's big idea of promoting the pawn. It's, it's a mistake we all fall into. It's a painful lesson, though, for Jordan. And it's just really sad because the geometry of the position is such that he can't possibly get his rook back. There is no rook b7. The bishop covers that. Rook takes uh, f7. And just to put this one on the board, after rook takes d4, king takes d4, pawn e2, you can't bring your rook back because the pawn will capture it. So the geometry is really unfortunate for Jordan von Forrest that even in some of these positions where his rook would try to wiggle its way back uh, to the first rank not available to him and it's just going to be a loss and a very painful one for the dutch fans who saw max vormadam lose with the white pieces to Jan de Pomchi. they're about to see jordan von forest lose with white against ali yeah. reza Ferruja. and it's one of those things where also the bishop on e4 is on the same line as the promotion square on e1 <laughs> It's like so everything lines for black and uh, there we see it. Resignation from Jordan van Forest and uh, Ali Reza Ferruja. He nets the full point. He does. And you see the players talking, the arbiter, getting those score sheets signed so that the players can continue discussing whatever they want to talk about. But you see Jordan, he's shaking his head. He's like, what did I do there? I can't believe it. A blown opportunity with the white pieces. He just threw away a half point. Painful, painful mistake from Jordan. But uh, well played to Ali Reza Ferruja, who 